First of all, it was the decision of Peter himself to quit the band because he didn't have any time left uh, with his school and his girlfriend. And uh, normally, uh, his last show was going to be on Break Bones Fest, but we decided uh, to uh, pick Arjen a bit earlier because Peter didn't make any time left for the band, and uh, we weren't set up with that. So uh, you now Arjen is here. Why did we choose him? Actually there were two people who wanted to sing with us, so three. Uh, but we know him already for a long time. He's been supporting us since the beginning of Headshot. And uh, we thought we should give him a chance. And uh, he's doing it really well. Well, it's a bit early to say that because it's only... He only played one show with us. Next month is his second show. And uh, it's a bit early to say that, but the first impressions were good. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> first impressions were really good. It's a hard question. The best, the best time we had. Uh, I think the best show we ever played was a thousand fests about a year ago in Rüsselare with Art for Battle Wolf City. We came there and we didn't have any expectations and we played like one of the best shows ever. The crowd was really going insane, a lot of sing-alongs, lots of mushing. It was really cool. But the worst moments, I don't think we really had any bad moments yet. Hope they will not run on the further, but I really don't know. The worst moments, the moments when I don't find a lot of shows, when you can't rehearse. In times when the band isn't very active, those are the most, you know, the, the worst moments for a band. But we don't, we don't, really don't have much of those moments. Uh, it's just a really good band. I think it's one of the best bands in Europe at the moment. And uh, they're good friends with us. Uh, we're going over to Bristol next month uh, for a show they're, uh, they're doing. Just hang out with them. They're good friends, it's a good band. It's a good promotion for us as well. We played on the release show. They played on our release show uh, last year. So we know them for a while and we're glad so we can, we can tour with them. <laughs> the tour for last summer was normally pushed too far, but we had a lot of bad luck. Really, really bad luck. A venue burned down, a guy died. So, like, the most fucked up things happened, so we had to blow up the whole tour. And um, also, it was still with Peter. Now we have Arjen. Peter didn't have time to do that tour. Now, uh, it's okay. Still positive, I think. Um, what I hate a lot of people say crap like uh, it used to be better. Um, you know, but they only can see it on like uh, the internet. So uh, I think you gotta step up and make it better like it used to be. But for me, hardcore is still good in a positive way. Uh, there's still a lot of kids going to shows. Uh, still a lot of shows organized. A lot of upcoming bands. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. The only thing I think is the problem right now, we are too spoiled, there are too much shows. Kids, uh, like, there are lots of r really good local bands from around here, in Antwerp, in uh, other province in Belgium, even North French bands, but you see them all the time, you see them too much. It, the kids are too spoiled, there are too much shows, so they think, wow, we're not going to that one, wow, we're not going to that one. 
I think if there were if there were going to be a, a little less uh, more shows, it's going to be much better. A lot of people don't want to do uh, an effort nowadays. It's pretty cool, actually. We started few, uh, four years ago as a, a side project of a band called Defiant. We, we really didn't think we could make it for four years to now. And it's really cool to see that a few bands from Kortek or other uh, cities look up to us. Uh, they want to book us on their release show, they want to book us on their shows. They come to shows of us. Like the songs um, my band wrote in our little rehearsing room. Now seeing kids see uh, singing along with that, that's really something big for us. To be honest, <laughs> to be honest, I don't I don't write a lot of lyrics because I really suck at it. The uh, lyrics are pretty good. I write a lot of uh, lyrics. Um, didn't use them in headshot, but uh, uh, it, it inspires me um, every day. You know, uh, every day I see things in the people uh, uh, around around the world. You know, things that just are wrong. Um, things I uh, did in the past. Uh, things I learned from life. Um, a lot of things, uh, you know. Um, I write a lot about uh, politics. Uh, write a lot about um, third world things like that uh, because it's just wrong. And I think um, you gotta raise a voice. You gotta do something against it, you know. And uh, hardcore is a very good way to to express that. Try to bring a message to the people in our in our songs and our lyrics. I have to admit, most of the lyrics are written by a guitar player Niels. He makes almost everything of the music together with our uh, drum player Peter and uh, well, we, we write things about our, our newest song is about uh, animal abuse so uh, a subject which we think is very important we're not straight edge we're not vegetarian none of us but we just think animal abuse it's we try to say something for those who can't speak so uh, I don't like we take a little bit uh, our biggest examples like a few Big bands. I think for every member in Headshot, there's going to be some other bands. There are actually, uh, at this moment, we're talking to a new record label uh, from Holland. We might join. Uh, the plans are to the plans are to record um, at about May, the end of May, uh, June. And we're going to try to uh, put out a new record on our new label uh, at the end of the summer. August, September, and uh, Golden Bullet is on the label also. Great man, check him out. Yeah, I just want to say, support your local hardcore bands. Not only Headshot, just all bands. Don't wait till the big bands from America come over. We have such great bands over here in Belgium, in Holland, in France. Support, support your local scene, support hardcore. Do what you can. Try to stand up, book shows, support bands, write a zine, write a zine. just try to be active because by staring, by staring and doing nothing, nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna happen or nothing's gonna change the way you want it to be. If you want to change something or you want to have your influence, do something for that. You gotta put an effort in it.